We play video games to escape the hard realities of life, at least for some time. But playing video games is not a child's play. Every Assassin's Creed game has hard moments, but which one is the most difficult of all? Well, today I will try to rank top 10 Assassin's Creed games based on difficulty. And if I skip the game, know that I don't consider it. Assassin's Creed game. We will try to see which games made players work the hardest to achieve completion and do tell us in the comments which one was the hardest for you and also hit the like button to help us reach more people. Alright, let's begin with Assassin's Creed 2 at number 10. No one can disagree to the fact that Assassin's Creed 2 is the best entry in the series to date. Ezio is still loved by people which can be seen from the analytics of this shot which got more than 250k views on our channel and we really thank you for the love. People still are playing this game for easy gameplay mechanics that have become a benchmark for the series. However, there is very less challenge for the normal players as the game makes things very very easy. There is no difficulty in learning to play as there are weak enemies to defeat and there are tons of tutorials to remove any potential hurdles straight away. Buying stuff is also very easy because let's say Ezio is very very rich. Players are handheld to do every mission which leaves little room for difficulty in the gameplay. While Assassin's Creed 2 is a lot of fun overall, it's not the entry which tested the patience of most players. Next at number 9, we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. In my personal opinion, Revelations is a great game and everything about it is beautiful. But it is as easy to play as Assassin's Creed 2. Well, yes, the enemies are not as weaker as before, but the range from which we can eliminate many enemies makes it easier to kill them. As your status as a master assassin gives him superior all-round abilities from combat to platforming. To its credit, the game attempts to create conflict to the tower defense sequences. Unfortunately, this ends up being more of a chore than a fun, difficult mission. Ultimately, Revelation's fluid gameplay has the side effect of robbing players of owning their skills, making this another very easy trip to the past. anything happen to me, Claudia, should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray, do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon. Next at number 8, we have Assassin's Creed Syndicate. There are different styles of gameplay in this game and based on your preference, you may experience more stealth while playing as a female protagonist and more open combat while playing as a male one. The difference between Jacob and Evie's fighting styles is something that newer Assassin's Creed fans need to get used to in Syndicate's opening hours. Syndicate's story format and missions are relatively plain, with repetition making most aspects of gameplay second nature. Since the majority of the tasks at hand are similar to one another, it's easy to navigate around the open world map and understand how enemy AI works. However, as the level of assassinations goes up, some difficulties can be present where enemies are placed seemingly at random places. Players might have to spend a lot of time figuring out where to find targets, which can be a hard thing to do. Next, we have Assassin's Creed Black Flag at number 7. Black Flag is not for everyone, just like black coffee. Enjoying Black Flag can depend on taste since naval gameplay is a core aspect of the experience. This is why players weak in this area can have a difficult time engaging in wars at sea, which gets progressively harder as the story advances. Taking on powerful ships can be laborious tasks 
that generally requires repeated attempts. But Black Flag also makes life much easier in terms of melee gameplay, where protagonist Edward Kenway is much more skilled than his enemies. Upgrading Edward and his ship eventually makes them too strong to put down and conquering Black Flag's challenges become way easier to overcome. Next, at number 6, we have Assassin's Creed Rogue. If you love black coffee, oh I mean black flag, chances are you will like Rogue too. But don't expect a map like black flag because the map's lack of depth leaves little room for too many hard missions. So player's path is simple enough to understand. Things can get messy due to the smaller emphasis on stealth as Rogue encourages an action based gameplay style. Due to this, there are several moments where she can get stuck in continuous combat, amping up the difficulty in combat and not to mention the renovations needed to generate income which she needs to purchase weapons and upgrades. While this isn't the most exciting task at hand, it does present a different kind of test for players to face. Next at number 5, we have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. As your second adventure is noticeably difficult compared to the other two, as Brotherhood makes players work for their achievements. Alright, combat is the standout in terms of difficulty, with Ezio frequently surrounded by enemies that he has to take on his own. Renewing health and earning money isn't as easy as Assassin's Creed 2, as players need to ensure they advance in the story to boost these attributes before things get easier. You might say, what's so hard in that? But harder levels serve as roadblocks to the smoother skill set, such as a war machine mission where Ezio has to battle and destroy powerful weapons. These can prove difficult for money due to the contrast in tune with the rest of the game. Still, elements like stealth and open world exploration remain uncomplicated, so both old and new fans won't take long before they are accustomed to Brotherhood style of gameplay. Next, we have Assassin's Creed Origins at number 4. Stealth-based gameplay is the lifeblood of Assassin's Creed series, but not for this game as Origins revamped Assassin's Creed for years to come. Origins takes close to action tropes requiring players to rely more on offensive maneuvers or defensive tactics they might be used to. Maybe the God of War fans may like this game more as there can be similar boss fights. Combat sequences are also hard hitting with constant aggression needed to win these battles. Origins vast open world can feel like a punishment for first few hours when Bayek's skill rating is still low. But the game gradually increases Bayek's mastery of combat and platforming to lower the overall level of difficulty. All things considered, Origins can come across as an easy title to complete if players figure out the best way to use Bayek's weaponry which is not the case usually. At number 3 we have Assassin's Creed. We know that this game was meant to be a Prince of Persia sequel and was later released as a new franchise and this may be Ubisoft's best decision ever as they are still reaping the fruits of it and fans are also enjoying it. Since it was a sequel of Prince of Persia, it wasn't nearly as polished in presentation as later installments in the Assassin's Creed series. For me, traveling from one location to another has been a bit harder and there is a lot of repetition in the game, like taking missions, going to finish it, coming back to the same place to take new orders or repeat mode. Other elements like the Eagle Vision and stealth based activities require a lot more effort as Altair's limited moments prevent him from completing them as later protagonists can. 
All this makes Assassin's Creed harder to become accustomed to even more so and even upgrading Altair's skill doesn't really make much difference. The continuous blocking and countering enemy attacks makes the combat among the most difficult which slows down the pacing of the game and it's difficult to truly be immersed in the Assassin's Creed open world. And these are the reason why a remake of Assassin's Creed is being discussed and we have tried to cover it in this video and make sure to check it after this one. Next, at number 2, we have Assassin's Creed 3. For me, this is one of the darkest storylines in the whole Assassin's Creed series. Assassin's Creed 3 served as a silent restart for the series' gameplay elements when we were accustomed to Altair's and Ezio's stealth style and then suddenly we got Connor's hard-hitting offense. Assassin's Creed 3's combat focus on power moves along with the use of Connor's swords rather than the hidden blade. Enemy defense is also upgraded from previous games, negating corners attacks with relative ease and complicating the gameplay. Naval missions are also not as polished as later games in the series, resulting in some uneven pacing that can make it difficult for players to get used to it. And the greatest challenge in Assassin's Creed 3 might just be the battlefield sequences which feature too many enemies that can swarm corner to overwhelm him. Players who don't have the nose of steel as most of us are likely to go through repeated playthroughs to get this right. And the number one Assassin's Creed Unity. On a lighter note, they wanted to make a beautiful baby, but they pulled it out way too early. <laughs> Some dark humor here, but really, Assassin's Creed Unity's high difficulty level is completely unintentional rather than being designed in such a way. The game's messy controls may combat the toughest yet in the Assassin's Creed series, as both defensive and offensive attacks really make an impact or any sense as you may. Killing enemies in a sequence is far from discussion, with players forced to fight them one by one in tedious battles. Even more daunting are the large environments that protagonist Arno is required to infiltrate. With lesser hints provided, it takes a lot of time to wrap your mind through most missions just to learn what we are supposed to do. Unity intended to diversify gameplay by encouraging players to explore each area as new to assassinate the target, but this created sequences that leave players very frustrated. But it would not be just to close the discussion without praising Unity's power, as it was the best of all time and they are still trying to replicate that without any success and even Mirage Parker doesn't come close to it. Just have a look for yourself. There you are. Don't let him escape! Time to vanish. Get back here, dog! Back. Ha! Don't fight, you worm! You're a pest! 